times a hundred bands. Can you get it? Ain't no running man. Keep a hundred rounds. We gon' get a man. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tati. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be filming a very, very requested video. It is my skincare routine. I'm also going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup for the summer. This video has been meant to be like posted since like a month ago, but we're doing it now right before summer ends. So yeah, so I'm going to get started with all of my skincare stuff. So just follow along. Okay, so the first thing that I use for my skincare is actually a spin brush. And I didn't think that I would like spin brushes because I've tried some in the past and I have really dry skin and I feel like that shit flakes me up. But I found one that works for me and if it works for me, then it should work for you too. It's actually by Duval. And yeah, so I like to use the little face exfoliator. Um, it's actually perfect. It's not too harsh to where your skin is like falling apart, but it gets the job done. And ever since I've been washing my face with this, I swear my appearance just looks a lot more brighter. And yeah, they also gave me a code for you guys to use, so I'll put it up somewhere on the screen. Um, yeah, let's just get to it. So I first go ahead and wet the head. I'm also going to be using this Cetaphil Extra Gentle Daily Scrub. I am able to wash my face every single day, so if that's something that dries you out, just wash your face as many times as you usually would. I put it directly on the brush, and then I kind of just mix it because I'm ratchet. Like, I don't know if you're supposed to put it directly on your face, but yeah. Then I just kind of get to it. Yeah, so I really mess with this spin brush because it gets me right all the time. Also, I do have eczema on my left eyebrow and it doesn't irritate it anymore, which I was really worried about, but we're all good. It also has this body buffer that I use in the shower all the time. And I also have eczema on my armpits, both of them. I have eczema in the weirdest places, but I kind of feel like it just cleans everything and everything is like nice and polished you know so yeah it also comes with what's that little foot thing called takes off the dry skin from your feet it comes with one of those too um but yeah i really mess with it and again my coupon code is going to get you guys 70 percent off so go ahead and cop i'm not making any money off of it they just ask me if i like it mention it if i don't don't mention it but i like it so much yeah. The next thing that I use is actually another cleanser. It's a micellar cleansing water by Garnier. Um, I use it to remove my makeup, but I feel like it just gets any like extra stuff that I miss, even though my face feels really soft. And it actually just kind of works as a refresher as well. So I just kind of dab it all over the towel. And I just kind of rub it in. The next thing that I'm going to be using is this facial toner and descent rose petal. Um, I purchased it at Target, and yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the towel as well, and I'm going to dab it onto my face, not rub it in how I did with other cleanser. And I'm just going to kind of let that air dry. Now that that's a little settled, I'm going to go ahead with my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. I have been purchasing this spray forever i swear i've gone through like 50 bottles but i'm just gonna spray that all over my face well the next thing that i'm gonna do is put on my steroid cream because again i have eczema on my face so if you don't have eczema on your face good for you and you don't have to do this stuff perfect so now we're gonna put on sunscreen I live in Cali, so I have to wear sunscreen every single day. Um, yeah, I'm just using a little of you know, nothing crazy, but put sunscreen on, guys. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to be using is this Burt's Bees Herbal Complexion Stick. Um, I like to put this on like my acne scars. Now I'm taking a vitamin that has been making me break out like crazy, but I have to take this vitamin. So I just put them on any blemish and it kind of lightens it. Um, it does stink a little, but I feel like that means it's working. Do you smell that? 
And I purchased that from Target as well. I think it was like ten dollars. But okay, the next thing that I'm going to use is this. It's a Pixie product. I've never tried the brand Pixie, but my cousin, shout out to Lupe, got some free samples, and this is an instant skin booster. And it's just something else to help hydrate. Because again, I be flaking and falling apart. Eczema everywhere. So I like to be hydrated as much as possible. Now, my favorite like product in the entire world is this. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I do two pumps, and then I've been doing this new thing. I've been adding this. It's TV Illuminating Serum with Vitamin C. Can you see it? And I put two drops of this as well. Rub them together. And I swear, I have never used anything that hydrates my skin this good, like ever. I've used everything. I've used Cetaphil, everything, and no moisturizer gets me right like this one, so. I will always spend $50 on that moisturizer. Or my boyfriend will spend it, period. Okay, now we're going to pull up that rose water again and set your skincare. Okay, so the last step that I use to prep my skin for makeup, or if I'm just going to go on about my day, is this Glam Glow Glow Starter. I have it in the shade Sun Glow. It's an illuminizing, oh, a mega illuminating moisturizer. I just like it because on days that I don't go out wearing makeup, I feel like this just looks like your face is like bomb. So it just looks like this, with a little star on top. Um, you guys know Glam Glow is a little expensive, but out of all the products that I've tried, I really mess with this one. And I just kind of take anything that's on the top of the lid, so I don't take like that much. It doesn't look like a lot, but I like to put it like all over my face, but especially places that I put highlight on because it just works so bomb, like the tip of my nose. And I like it because honestly, it doesn't matter what like skin color you are because they're not tinted. Like just because it's that brown does not mean if you're super light skin, like it's gonna look like you smeared dirt all over your face. It's just a different type of glow. Like this one's more bronzy. So that's really it for my skincare. Um, like I said, I have hella dry skin. So I do focus on keeping my skin as hydrated as possible. If I'm going like out, like on a hike or something all day, then I do like to take my rose water spray um, just to like refresh my face. But all of these products, including what I wash my face with, do keep my face extremely hydrated. And surprisingly, the spin brush really, really does work for my skin type as well, which is kind of hard to find. So that's it for my skincare. We can get started with my makeup. It's something really quick. Again, this is my summertime face, not my wintertime face. So Okay guys, so we have to switch up the angle for you guys, but yeah, my summer makeup is honestly super simple. I don't wear any foundation that's year round, but in the summertime, I don't wear any powders either because I'd be out and I can't be sweating and 
No, I just don't like how it feels. If you can wear a full face in the summertime, you guys deserve your credit because I can't and that's just because I don't like how it feels on me, but that's me. So the first thing that I do is I actually start with my brows. I like to use this Great Lash Mascara. It sucks as a mascara, but as a brow gel, it's everything. I like really wild brows. So I just brush them up like wild and then I like clean up the tail. I'm going to go ahead and use some concealer. I use the Fenty Beauty Concealer and I am in the shade 370. I only put concealer on my problem areas and honestly taking this vitamin has every area a problem area. So, we're just gonna dab it on. Yeah. I was putting them on my sideburns too because my hair girl, love her, but she cut my sideburns really short as you guys can see they're growing back. So, that's that. Um, again, we're gonna take our rose water spray. I use this so much, that's why I buy so many bottles, but This dry skin, I have to make sure that it moisturizes as much as possible. Um, and I like to just dab it in with the beauty blender. I don't go heavy on the concealer um, because I don't care if my blemishes do peek through, but I kind of just want like a little veil over them. Like they're not necessarily in your face, like, hey, I exist, but it's also like, hey, I'm human, you know? But pack on as much as you guys want. I just kind of let them rock. Okay, after concealer, I start to contour and bronze because even though it's summertime, I still need to look like my bone structure is crazy, you know, and that my double chin does not exist. Again, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick or the Match Stick. Um, this is in the shade Truffle. And does anyone else have like a natural contour? Like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I feel like it's darker in just one line. I just follow that. I follow it into my hairline. And then I put some on my jaw. So it's like, oh my God, to talk to you, are you losing weight? Yeah, sure. Then I'm just going to go ahead and blend it. I don't use any crazy blood. I don't use any crazy brushes. This is a, I think it's Real Technique, yeah. Expert face brush. And I love truffles so much that I actually go back and I just kind of dot it on where I would normally bronze. And then I go ahead, take my beauty blender, and just kind of buff all that out. I love my makeup to look really skin-like, so when I use the same color, it's not really like I have a harsh contour and a really harsh bronzer. So I just kind of like to... Okay, so back to what I was saying, I got interrupted. Um, yeah, I just buff it in with the beauty blender. I like all of my makeup to look super skin-like, so it's nothing crazy, but I'm gonna add a little bit more because... Um, now we're gonna go ahead and use some blush. I'm gonna take this Glossier, bl Glossier blush. This is in the shade... I don't know why I keep all the packaging. I'm a hoarder. This is in the shade Storm. I'm just... As this is just their cloud paints. Um, I like to use a little bit because a little does go a long way, especially with this color. I just dab it on the butt of my beauty blender and I just go ahead and put it straight on my face. And this is one of my favorite like liquid blushes um because i feel like 
it's really worth the money. It's super pigmented and it does have a skin-like finish as well because that's the vibe we're going for if you're wearing makeup in the summertime. This blush is like a wine color. It's just really pretty. Um, So after this, I would usually curl my eyelashes, but I lost my eyelash curler and I meant to get one before filming this video, but I didn't, and I'm sorry. But curl your lashes right now, or put on falsies, whatever, or please brush out your eyelash extensions because I hate when I see someone who has not brushed out their eyelash extensions. So go ahead, do that now while I just stay like a little naked mole wrap. Go ahead. Okay, so you should be done because I should have paused it and done it because I really don't have time to wait for y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face with, again, a Fenty Beauty product. Fenty Beauty is my shit, so. This is in the shade Rum, which is my favorite highlighter. I don't use any other highlighter anymore maybe to like set it but I don't really use any other one then you're gonna go ahead and grab your rose water spray again and mist it And then take your beauty blender, blend it in. And check if I'm blended. Oh, this looks cute. Okay, so now that I look like I'm glowing, but I'm also sunburned and I'm also sweating, this is it for my base. Again, just imagine me with like lashes. Um. I feel really bald and I'm so sorry to come at you guys in a very humble state, but that's what we had to do. Yeah. Okay, so the last step that I do real quick is put on some chapstick. I don't use this chapstick, so I would not recommend it. I love to use Carmex, Carmex, whatever, the one that we burn in, that one. But this one will have to do for now because I left my chapstick in my work bag and I don't have time to go get it, so. My everyday lip combo that I get questions on is my favorite. It's this lip pencil by Morphe in the shade Vibes. And this is a multi-purpose lip, well, it's a multi-purpose pencil, so for eyeliner, whatever. And it literally comes like a foot long, I'm not even kidding. Um, so, so I just outline my lip. And that's all. <laughs> Hell no. Um, yeah, so I outline my lip. Then I take this, again, another Glossier product that I really love. It is their lipsticks. It's in the shade Leo, and it is pretty sheer, but this is a really nice, like, little chocolate color. Yeah, and this is my everyday lip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I showed you guys my skincare, my go-to secrets, which is a damp spin brush that has changed my life, the Clinique moisturizing gel, and then the Glam Glow illuminating thing. Those are my top three. Um, and I showed you guys how to do my summertime makeup. Super simple, super sweet. Um, yeah, so if you guys try this little look out or you take anything from this video, always let me know. I love to see. Um, and go ahead, follow me on Instagram at Tati the Bombshell, period. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to be seeing more of this camera and you guys to be seeing more of me. So go ahead and subscribe if you wanna join. Um, yeah, but I have a lot of things planned for this channel and I hope you guys stick around. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and until next time.